telecommunications operators uh, began the concept of, uh, or introduced the concept of telco cloud way back in the 2012, 2013 timeframe with the, uh, with the introduction of the Etsy network functions virtualization group. This was a series of vendors and operators who got together with a specific purpose, which is to replace hardware-based appliances with software-oriented resources that they could actually deploy much more cost-effectively and much more nimbly throughout their, their network infrastructure. And this was, on the, this was on the verge of this big digital transformation that was underway that was driven by software-defined networking. Telco Cloud varies, though, from the public cloud in a couple of fundamental ways. One of them is that Telco Cloud is deployed in the edge clouds or universal CPE or areas where there's limited resources. We don't, we, we have, we don't have this notion of an unlimited elastic cloud where we use what we need and then give it all back when we're done. This is all based on how do we optimize within a much more limited environment. And the other area is that operators need to have more control of the network functions virtualization baseline than they would in the public cloud, which is a much more free flowing media. In other words, we need to think about multi-tenancy and the concept of management domains and a whole range of telco concepts that don't necessarily flow into the public cloud, which is, which is intended to be transparent of all these different notions. You just use whatever you need. That's the, that's the paradigm there. And over time, what we're seeing is that the public cloud gains so much momentum that operators are giving uh, serious consideration to how they may exploit having low cost and, and highly available and, and pervasive technology or cloud technology that they can use to actually further supplement or even replace what telecommunication operators have built over over the last uh, decade and um, with the advent of cl the cloud native movement and containers in particular as a technology we see the potential to drive the, the cost e down even more far lower than what we expect for virtual machines, which is the mainstay for uh, NFE today. I mean, OpenStack is how many of the operators are built their network along with VMware and other, other proprietary technologies. But what we're seeing is that containers open the door to the next level of, uh, of cost shifts. And once we have the ability to drive down costs, then we have an, an opportunity to be able to exploit that technology. And looking ahead, we see communications, telecommunications converging with the cloud. They're gonna be competing increasingly. The cloud is providing more communications capabilities. The telecommunications world is providing more cloud capabilities. They're bound to collide and it's already happening. And what we're expecting to see is an additional set of functionality as everybody tries to raise the bar which customers and, and enterprise are going to be able to exploit.